If you're trying to connect to uh, Eternos server and you're playing Minecraft via T Launcher and you can't connect, there are a couple of different settings that you first need to check out. First, before you even get to Eternos settings, uh, take a note of what game version are you using. For example, I am using uh, the latest release, which is 1.21.5, which means I need to make sure that my server is also running on the same version. As you can see here, my server is currently using 1.21.4, which is not correct. So let's go ahead and fix that first. Now, once you've opened your server settings, you will see uh, an option right below the start button which will show you the version and the software now if you've got vanilla here then you're good to go otherwise if you've got some sort of a mod loader or a plugin loader like paper mc we're going to change this to vanilla just to check that our server is working properly so go ahead and click on this change button right here then i'm going to click on vanilla from this page and now i'm going to select my game version which is 1.21.5 uh, let's go ahead and install this and that's it we're good to go so now if I head back to server you can see that it now shows a vanilla software and version 1.21.5 which is what we want the next thing to do is to head over to options and once the option menu loads up make sure that you've got the cracked option enabled right here uh, if this is disabled, you will not be able to connect to whatever server that you're trying to connect to, whether it's on Eternos, created by you or via anyone else. Once you're done with this as well, you should be able to connect. Uh, one more setting that we need to look at is the time zone. So make sure that this is set to whatever time zone you are in. For me, it's Asia, Kolkata, but uh, you can figure out your time zone from this list of regions and make sure that this is Select it properly because even if you can connect to your server and the time zone is different from the time zone that you're actually located in, this can cause uh, lag and uh, FPS drop issues on the server. All right, great. Last but not least, when you're uh, on your home server and you click this connect button, you will see uh, your IP address and your port number. Now, you should copy the entire IP address including the port number for Minecraft. Now uh, in, in case you can't get the regular IP address to work, you can also try using the DIN IP or the dynamic IP. The problem with that is you don't really get the option to check your dynamic IP until your server is uh, already starting and running. So as you can see this is starting to load up now and uh, I will give it some time to get up to speed. All right, so as you can see now, my server is online. And if I click the connect button now, I can see a, a DIN IP as well and a, a regular IP. So right now with all of our given settings, I should be able to connect with just the regular IP as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, select OK. I have six minutes to get to my server. So let's fire up T-Launcher, enter the game. Do you want to update this version? No, thank you. Just run the game for me and we'll give this a second to load up minecraft and here we are so i have opened minecraft 1.21.5 let's head to multiplayer click on add server and i'm just going to paste the address to my minecraft server here it's going to leave the name right there click on done and here it is the our server is now showing up so now i can click this join button and I can join my new server without any issues. And you can continue playing the game as if it were running locally on your system without any problems that you might face otherwise. And that's it. That's how you can fix the launcher server issues uh, with Eternos. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada Technology, follow us on social media. And if these videos don't help you out as much, do consider getting a membership. That's it for today and we'll see you in the next video.